Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 24. Inside this video session guys, we are going to continue about template override section and inside this video, we are going to modify about archiveproduct.php. So this is the first part of our like modifying archiveproduct.php. Now if I back to browser, in the last video, we had seen all about adding this static message inside this SOAP page. Now we want to add some more classes, let's say for the bootstrap classes. By using bootstrap classes, we want to actually make this layout much better. Right now it is totally distorted. So how can we control the structure? If I back to editor, this is the file called archive product.php as we can see here inside this template name and this template is coming this time from our custom theme called simple hyphen bootstrap hyphen theme so if we want to customize or set this layout we need to work totally on this archive product.php page now if i scroll down inside this page now this is our static message so what i will do if I back to slide, open a new tab, we are going to create, let's say that, a container. Let's say div class, something container. And this is a container, it's like a bootstrap class. So we are going to use bootstrap container class. Inside this, we will have a another div with the class name called row. Now inside this, we will have another two classes like call sm8 and call sm4 something our columns grid so inside this row what i will do we need to create another div and inside this div we are going to create another class with the name of call sm like 8 for products listing now if i copy this div pasting it here now this is for another four like eight four twelve total twelve column grids and these four like four calls for our sidebar so what i will do if you go to editor now remove this h1 static message and we are going to create like first of all container so simply either we need to type called div and inside this let's say that container or simply we are going to use IntelliSense of this editor. So how can we use the autocomplete feature of this Visual Studio Code? So simply I am to remove this D from here. Simply type container. This is a class that's why I have put dot here and press tab button. Now as we can see that it is automatically created a div with the class called container. Now inside this container, next we need to create another div with the row class. So simply and to make the class syntax called row and pressing tab button, this is div class row. And inside this, we need to make another like div for call sm8 and call sm4. So what I will do, if I cut this two closing of these two divs, go at footer and simply here inside this I am to make opening and closing of PHP tags and pasting all the two those divs here now if we save this change back to browser reload this page now if I inspect that I think that our bootstrap container class as well as row class successfully implemented inside this code now here as you can see that we have now div class container and this is container what we have added for a bootstrap class also inside this editor if we want to add some more classes of our own let's say owt class inside this let's say it's let's say owt container owt row save this change back to browser reload this page and we can see the totally of our custom classes like OWT container, row. So it means that we have now control over this layout. 
only the thing is that we need to separate right now it is taking like much width of this sidebar we want to assign this sidebar as for four calls eight calls will go for this swap page means for listing of all products what i will do back to editor and here inside this if we go inside this header we will have our product header here we will have our product loop and finally here we will have our like WooCommerce sidebar so go at the top what I will do here and to create a class something called call as I'm eat pressing tab button and here it has created a div with the class of call as I'm eat what I will do I am go and cut all the codes from this section like up to WooCommerce after main content cut this code totally from this from here and go inside this call as a mate making a PHP tag and pasting all the codes inside this and right here for this sidebar what I will do and to define let's say call as a foo pressing tab button and I am go and cut this code from here and pasting inside this div now press ctrl shift i to format the code save all these changes go here reload this page now as we can see that we have much better layout it is taking call sm4 and it is taking call sm8 now if i inspect to check our classes so here we have deep class container or row and inside this we will have call sm8 as well as call sm4 this call sm4 our for woocommerce sidebar call sm8 for our swap page like listing of all the products back to editor also in case if we want to switch the sidebar like we want this sidebar at the left and this products listing we want at the right simply we can cut this d from here get rid of these white spaces back to top and if I place before call as a meet control shift I reload this page and here we can see that here we have now WooCommerce sidebar and a swap page now inside this products listing it is not looking much better it's because the products is now coming underneath of each product what I want we want that this is for the product one product 2 will list here product 3 will list here and so on like row by row inside a single row right now we have a single product but we want more than one product inside a single row so for that actually we have missed our like wordpress classes so how can we add our by default wordpress classes so go at this body tag and remember this body tag we have declared inside header.php because this is only a template and inside this template we don't have any body tag this template is behind the scene if we go inside browser as we can see that it is using as header for the header it is using header.php of this custom theme so we need to go inside header.php file press ctrl b inside this we will have called header.php now inside this body i am to use for wordpress classes so to get all the wordpress classes by default what wordpress provides to a wordpress site by the help of this wordpress function called body underscore class as we can see inside this IntelliSense says displays the class names for the body element now if we save all these changes go here close this inspect reload this page now as we can see that we have a much better layout this is for products listing as well as this is for our WooCommerce sidebar now inside this page as we can see that here we have a product listing now underneath of this product grid here we have the pagination link called 1 2 and 3 now if we press on the second link 
Here we have the page 2. If we click on the page 3, it is using the same template as we can see for the pagination. So here we have all the products. Now if we want to control the number of products to be available inside the single row, we can also, also control that. If we back to editor, go inside functions.php and remember we have inside this add theme support, we have a product grid. So what I will do, let's say that default columns, I want something up to 10. Inside this mean number of columns, let's say that I want something the minimum value of minimum number of columns equal to 2 and the max number of columns I want that something like three products in a single row. So if we save this change, go to browser, reload this page and as we can see that the total number of three products is now appearing inside this archive product.php. So we can control all about the functionality of template overrides as well as well as WooCommerce customization. Now if we click on any of the product, this is all about using single product.php. So we will do later on all the customizations as well as about the Timpolo override for single product as well. So inside next video guys, we will discuss something more about this archive product.php page. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.